it's been a pretty eventful Friday morning as Kirk Cousins went on the Rona list and tested positive, all of that stuff. And it's been reported uh, from several local beat writers that Sean Mannion will be clearing the COVID list today. So he'll be able to practice. And of course, that's the key with Zimmer and everything. But I actually wonder what would have happened if Manny didn't clear until tomorrow when the team travels to Appleton adjacent uh, to take on the greasy, grimy, green Bay Packers Sunday night football. And if Manny hadn't been able to practice, Kellamon got all the practice reps, what he would have done? Like That would uh, would have been his Kobayashi Maru. Well, you know, I always lean towards bad veterans, but I, I was leaning towards practice as well. We'll see. But I am pleading, I am imploring Mike Zimmer and this coaching staff, you know what you have in Sean Mannion. He's not going to win. Like Sean Mannion will not lead the Vikings to victory. I have zero hope in that, and I'm a very optimistic Vikings fan. Probably more optimistic than most, right? We're always looking at the sunny side of life, keeping skull alive, all that stuff. But Kellamond, yeah, you may lose. Yeah, he may look like a rookie, but he may make enough big time flashy plays with his big arm with his big legs as well to keep the vikings offense afloat and and i know what's going to happen they're going to try and pound the rock with dalvin seventy-five thousand times maybe run a couple bubble screens with justin jefferson but the packers defense is not going to respect sean Mannion, right there's a reason why he's been a career backup he's been horrible whatever he he's actually gotten a start in meaningless games uh the final week against the bears so that's what's going to happen uh yeah the packers will attack sean Mannion. they'll put nine ten in the box against dalvin Alvin, and that's how they'll smother this offense. But with Kellamon, yeah, he'll make mistakes. Yes, it's his, it would be his first NFL action. It would only be the second time he'd be active for a game. But I think that he has enough intangibles. I think that he has enough wild card factor that, hey, Kellamon might be bad. He, he may complete less than 50% of his throws. But that one throw that he does hit with his big time arm in that cold weather, Justin Jefferson, KJ, ISM, deep down the sideline, woo! Yeah, that's right, baby. And also, they cannot just uh, key on Dalvin because guess what? A little RPO action, a little Kellamon mobility, move in the pocket. Plus, rookie quarterbacks tend to skedaddle anyway uh, when facing an ounce of pressure. And guess what? Kellamon mobility, woo! Pretty damn sexy, man. Uh, so, I... I'm just begging, I'm imploring, because we know what the outcome is going to be with, with uh, Sean Mannion, but uh, Kellamon, you may lose, but at least you'll be entertaining, at least you'll have a puncher's chance as well. And I'm not even begging for Kyle Suter. Like, I understand that Suter just got here like six minutes ago, so I don't think that he's going to be starting anyway, but just a mess, man. It's just a mess. But next man up, hopefully that man is not Sean Mannion. <sighs> as the Vikings look to keep their season alive. At Green Bay. In a must-win game, but great. Uh, your thoughts on our thoughts. Play Kellen Mond or we riot. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.